Formula E might not have the legacy of Formula One or even the drama-filled Netflix series, but on the track, it's fast-paced. Limited time races are a great introduction to the technology behind the electric powertrains that will eventually be in passenger cars. Each race is only 45 minutes long, which is essentially code in the automotive world for a ton of passing, which means that you need a race car that is agile, that is quick, and that is able to get around corners and pass as quickly as possible. And that is what Porsche is hoping they built with the Gen 3 99X. The race car will make its track debut on the ninth season of Formula E, but Porsche invited us to the world premiere of the vehicle in Italy. Porsche redesigned the 99X both inside and out. It's now narrower than the Gen 2 car and it's shorter. Plus, they've taken the rear drive vehicle and replaced it with an all-wheel drive vehicle. In addition to being smaller, it's also 110 pounds lighter. Smaller and lighter help it get around the track quicker with a top speed of 199 miles an hour. That's thanks in part to an updated powertrain, which has increased brake horsepower from 335 to 470. Handling all these bits of technology and engineering means that now more than ever, software engineering is the key to making sure the vehicle handles as well as it should, especially when it comes out of corners. You don't want all that power to create wheel spin, which would of course lose momentum. But the big news is regenerative braking. Previously, as you were braking, you could send up to 250 kilowatts back to the battery. That's been increased to 600 kilowatts. And it means that it's also increased the amount of power that is produced by this vehicle during regenerative braking that's used during the race. Previously, it was 25%, and now it is 40%. 40% of the battery and energy that this vehicle uses during a 45 minute race is from braking. Now the biggest challenge is how the vehicle handle an actual race which has more contact than you see in Formula One. And you'll be able to see how that works out at the next season of Formula E that's coming this January in Mexico City. For more automotive coverage next to an electric race car, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.